And then I just sat down there and I just said, oh, this is going to be, I, I'm in big trouble. So when Natasha was born uh, in 09, 2009, I was offered a high paying salary from one of my clients. You know, from an uh, own ID company where you're struggling with your, your finance and then suddenly you're given a, given a high paying job. So that to me was a, a big jump. And I remember that um, with that big amount of salary, I was able to spend whatever I want to. You know? To me, it was, was no issue. Uh, it was just, uh, you, you want that, buy. You want this, buy. Holiday, just go. Then I remember when we went for our honeymoon, our very much delayed honeymoon to Hokkaido uh, in 2012. And I wanted to buy a bag of uh, about $150, $200. And the credit card just couldn't go through. It just said decline. The, my, my credit card limit was it's, it's big. It's, it's a lot. And to show that it's declined, and I kind of like, I retreated to the toilet and I just sat down there and I just said, this is going to be, I, I'm in big trouble. So I took bank loans to cover. Well, it's always just filling up a small little gap, whereas the gap was actually getting bigger and bigger. It was April 2013 that, that um, I found out that he was in there. That, that night when we sat down together and we talked about that, to me it was like, I just remembered that, you know, my burden just lifted. Four to five years of just keeping a secret has just been lifted up for me. But our marriage seems to break further. Resentment starts to build. Some days I will feel that, why should I be carrying all these debts? One of our friends invited us to Cornerstone. After attending the church, uh, I still feel that we have problems with our relationship. So we didn't know that actually this whole debt affected our marriage and in turn affect our kids. At the time, I was not very close to him, to God. No. And I said, why? why is this happening? You know, it's like, what is wrong? And, and I, caught, I heard this small steel voice telling me, call Grace. Suddenly I remember uh, it was it should be Kyron's Sunday school teacher. And the first thing she said that she has waited two years for this call. Yeah. So God has been so good, so good through these years, even though um, we don't acknowledge him. But he never forsake us. And and from then on we they walk us through for the first year, first two years. And then when I attended BSF, that's when I really started to study the Word of God. So that's where I started to understand the need for humility. Because at that time, you know, uh, why am I not measuring up as a, uh, as a father who can provide for the family? Why am I not measuring up as someone, uh, as a husband who can provide for my wife? Why do I need my uh, other family members to help? And I think that really uh, created a bit of uh, uh, resentment in myself. Then God just worked in me and, and really just humbled me. Uh, because through this phase, I, I have to be humble to accept help from others. It humbles me a lot. So it was in 2020 that I know that I still had about 45,000 in debt. And during one of my uh, quiet time, uh, I remember I wrote down uh, very clearly what God told me that 2020, your debts will be cleared. I was like, God, 45,000, and I wasn't saving much. Um, because uh, I had to clear existing debts, but how am I going to clear that? But by October 2020, that debt was just cleared through various ways, through various means. Successes are, are, are not defined by, by my results. I know He looks in our heart how much we love Him, how much He wants to love us as well. As long as we love God, allow God to work in our lives, uh, we remain humble, um, mm. not, be, not be conceited, we mm. remain humble, allow Him to work, allow Him to peel layer after layer. Uh, it's painful, but, but the reward is there. Mm. I think that to me, it's is what God sees.